Hi friends, my name is Ankur Jain and welcome back to TechSipper channel. Today in this video, we are going to look at how we can manage PCS application. The PCS is Oracle Process Cloud Service. So let's get started and see the concept, concepts. So basically, managing PCS application includes assigning roles to users or groups to initiate the process, approve or reject the assigned task, etc. Role assigned to end user define their permission, such as task assignment and whether they can start an application or not. By default, role get created for each swim lane defined in an application's process. As you see in this particular screen, we have a test workflow which we have created in my previous video. And here you see there are two swim lane. One is process owner and the second is process reviewer. So whenever we create any process, two swim lane will be created with these two names and corresponding to these swim lanes, a corresponding role will get created. And then we can assign user or groups to this particular role in order to initiate the process in order to take the actions like approve or reject the tasks. So basically each role have different different responsibilities. And as I mentioned that we have Two, three roles by default. One is process owner, second is process reviewer, the third is analytics reviewer. The user assigned to this process owner role can view process activity history. They can take actions like approve or reject the tasks. They can alter the process flow. They can view form data for applications they own. Process owner typically manages activated business processes and they use metric analytics tools such as dashboards to monitor business processes and alter task flow as they did. The second role is process reviewer. User assigned this role can view tracking and process activity history and they can view or add comments, attachments or documents for the specified application. Process reviewers cannot take actions on task or alter task flow. The third role is the analytics view reviewer. So basically, user assigned to this role can create and view business analytics dashboards associated with the specified applications. So basically, uh, another navigation is the my task. When we activate our application and then we do lot of things let's like suppose we start the process uh my task can allow you to take a lot of actions and uh, my task allow actually you to see all the tasks assigned to your bucket to take further actions like approve or reject the task so here in this screenshot you can see that there are three tasks assigned to a particular user users can open the any task and from there they can do multiple things like they can approve the task, they can reject the task, they can withdraw, they can escalate the task. Another navigation is the dashboard, and the dashboard allows you to monitor the overall state of the processes and view specific process metrics such as bottleneck processes. We can also create custom graphs to view process data based on the business indicators define your business. So here in this in the two dashboards you see the different different views of the different different processes so in the first screenshot or the first picture you see it shows some frames and some frames shows the different different information like how many total open tasks how many tasks tasks are on the track how many dues how many overdues how many open today how many close today and the second screenshot the trend of your tasks so three currently open for open today, one close today. And there are some graph also shows on this particular dashboard. There are different different views we can see on this particular dashboard. So basically in this video, we are going to do multiple things. We will see how we can activate the PCS application in order to initiate it. How we can assign user or group to the roles. Then how we can initiate a process. How we can approve or reject task how we can view dashboard so let's see and let's try to do one by one i will switch on to the pcs application and for this particular lab we are going to use two users one is tax supper and the second is ankur ankur is a basically is a user who can initiate the processes 
and the taxable will be the user who can approve or reject the task. So let's see how we can do this. Okay, I'll just uh, share my another screen. So basically in my earlier video, we have created one workflow, which is called test workflow and one approval process. So let's just try to activate this first and then click on activate button in order to activate, just click on this activate button. So once you activate, a uh, screen will be there and here you see all the activated version you can create a new version just by clicking on the activate new version button now from here i'll just select a snapshot i will take v1 v1.1 and then just click on a validate and here you see application has been validated successfully and just click on the options and here you can see version is 1.3 and simply activate once it will activate you can assign roles to the users now here you see the application has been activated successfully just click on the finish here you see the new version has been created this is how you can activate your application now I will assign roles to the users. Just click on this home button. And from here, I will go to the my tasks. And then I will open a workspace. So here I will go to the administration. And then I will click on this manage role. And here you see there are two, three roles analytics viewer, process owner, and the process reviewer. So I'll just take this process owner and then we'll add a member. And I will say Ankur. So I will add Ankur to this particular role process owner and then save. Now this should be saved successfully. Now you see the all saved successfully. Just click on this process reviewer and then assign another member to this reviewer role. And I'll say tech. And I will use this tax upper 27 and then okay. And now just save. So this is how you can assign users to a particular role. Now I will log in as an Ankur, Ankur Jan or Jan on a different screen. So here I just logged in and just click on a home button. And here in this action menu, you will see my form has been assigned. Now just go to this my task. You can initiate action at two places from initiate request and then workspace if you go to the workspace and from here you just click on the my apps my apps will show all the apps which are assigned to you or just open this task and then you can put a name like i can say t at gmail.com i will ask the leaves from 16 to 22nd and i'll say going to home then submit now you see your request has been submitted now just go back to a different screen and now just go to this home so here i'm just logged in as a uncle chan sorry tax upper now just go to the my task here you see the four open task just click on this and you will be reached to this my task page from here you can see this is the task which is pending on you and then also you can see this task on under this workspace here you see all these tasks are there you can just click on this to view this task and here you can see all these things
so either you can you can put a command and you can reject this leave here i will say can't approve for so many days due to the project deadlines then post command and from here then you can reject the leave now the leave has been rejected successfully and the task has also gone away from the bucket now go back to a different screen and now just go to this my task and here you see the task workflow just click on this here you will be able to see your task your leave has been rejected and you can see the comments can't approve for so many days due to the project deadlines you can see the history of your task by just you see this task view and then go to the full view this full view will show each and every task as per the times and then you can go expand this and you can see here okay now you can reduce your leaves i will say i need only three days leave please approve as i have reduce my leave days and then post command and then submit this task you action failed the disk is already modified okay now submit it again okay now this time the task has been submitted now just go back to this tax upper screen just refresh it and you see this is again there in your that tax upper bucket and here you see please approve as i have reduced my leave days now just approve it now you see this time the task has been approved this has been removed from the bucket as well so this is how you can take actions on the particular task now go to this dashboard and here you will see all the open items the active the recoverable and the suspended you can see different different things you can see the opens this is the health here you can see the open summary how many are open on track due this and then overdue you can see the workload also you can see the trend can see the close task you see one task has been closed so this is how you can see your dashboard you can do analytics of your process application guys i hope you like the video if you like the video please like comment and share my videos also subscribe my channel you can see me over linkedin twitter tax upper pinterest you can see my blogs https colon slash slash www.taxupper.com thank you for watching the video have a good day bye bye